there's so much on my mind about what is God doing in this season. That's what I'm contemplating. What is God doing? This entire year has not gone the way I expected at all. So I got back from Israel last night, back into the States. I'm not home yet. I'm in New York. My flight got in late last night, so I had to stay overnight in New York. I'm about to fly to St. Louis, but I've got so much on my mind. I was in Israel for three weeks. I filmed a Bible study on the book of John, 21 sessions. It was a lot. So much preparation, so much went into the filming of it. But being in Israel for three weeks, beyond the touring of Israel. So the first week I was with a tour group. We saw all the sites, getting up early, going all day. But for the past two weeks, I was experiencing Israel in a whole different way. I actually rented a car, drove from Tel Aviv to Tiberias and scouted out locations for the Bible study and just relying on God for thing after thing after thing and seeing God move in ways I hadn't anticipated. It was incredible. And there's just so much on my mind right now. But I have to say a couple of immediate things on my mind. I can't wait to get home and get back to my diet. I gotta have my spinach, broccoli, and kale. I did not see a piece of broccoli the entire time I was in Israel. I did not see kale. I did see spinach in limited amounts and you better believe I jumped all over it. But I was so tired and getting up early and going all day that I would be exhausted at the end of the day. And I know how my body is. I need those super greens to stay healthy. So I was just praying for God to keep me, keep me healthy, keep me alert, keep me energized. I didn't want to get sick and get a cold. And he did. I was praising God this morning for just feeling good and feeling good the entire time. That was just God. But when I get home, oh, the first thing I wanna do, stop by the store and get some broccoli and kale and spinach. The other thing is hair. If you follow me on Instagram, you know, before the trip, I was doing these IG stories, trying to figure out what to do with my hair for an extended trip trying to figure out whether to do mini twists, box braids, faux locks, and people gave me all kinds of suggestions. But I settled on mini twists because I wanted to be able to do it myself and to be able to refresh it. Oh my gosh, why haven't I been doing mini twists? This was everything. My hair actually stayed moisturized. I don't know if you can see it, but when I did the twist, I used my shea butter mix. I used this mix I make with elm tree bark, marshmallow root, and I used flaxseed gel. So I twisted with all this goodness and my hair stayed really moisturized. After a couple of weeks, I just refreshed it, but you know, can I wait to get home and just wash my hair? So I'm like, I gotta wash my hair. I need my super greens. I need to work out all these things you miss when you're away from home, but I am so praising God this morning because I woke up after a 12 hour plane ride. But wait, let me back up. I had to get up at two in the morning, drive to Tel Aviv, turn in the rental car, found out my flight was delayed six hours, then had a 12 hour plane ride. I expected to be really tired and run down when I woke up this morning. I am feeling good. I was in the word this morning, wanting to hear from God. But the main thing this morning is there's so much on my mind about what is God doing in this season. That's what I'm contemplating. What is God doing? This entire year has not gone the way I expected at all. I thought the only thing I would be doing is working on fiction. Book four in the Promises of God series should have been out by now. That was supposed to be out in August. I'm not even halfway done, but God has been doing new thing after new thing. And now after these three weeks in Israel, I'm really seeking God as to what is next? What are your priorities, Lord? What are you doing? 
So I wanted to vlog during this season that I'm in, just about clinging to God in the midst of uncertainty, trying to get clarity, wanting to know his will. When he puts new things before you, does that mean he's done with this thing? Or does that thing get added to this new thing? I have so many questions, but I'm excited. I'm excited. I love seeking God about what he's doing, about his purposes, because I know that if I can get that clarity, his grace will be with it. So I'm about to pack up, can't wait to get home, get back to my routine, the things I know, but also wondering what's new, what's next. The jet lag and fatigue hit the night I got here. I was out, but I loaded up on my super greens, been overdosing on that. And tired as I was, I had to do this hair. Made my DIY mix the next day. The mix with slippery elm, bark powder, and marshmallow root. I add aloe vera gel and my favorite oils to that. And my flaxseed gel, I add oils to that too. Took down my mini twists, washed and conditioned my hair, put in new twists, flat twists this time. Been getting my workout in. These eyebrows need some work though. But this morning, I'm down here in this prayer room that I hardly ever use. It's in the basement. I didn't say lower level, I said basement. Nobody comes down here just to wash clothes, work out. This would be where the crickets and the spiders chill. But I've been really seeking God about what's next. And sometimes I just wanna come down here and get away from my normal morning routine, which is upstairs in the office, and just talk to God. Did I mention this was a bathroom? Because here's the thing, I've been home five days now. I'm thinking I'm done filming the John study. I have to edit it, but right now, my plan was to jump back into the fiction. I reread the story to see where I was so far, and I loved it. So I'm like, Lord, please help me get back in the writing zone. I am ready. Let's go. No thoughts about the story. Instead, I'm thinking about video editing, filmmaking. I start watching videos on filmmaking. And when my thoughts are like that, I know I need to pay attention. That shows us how God is leading us. When we're praying and intentionally seeking direction, we have to pay attention to how our thoughts are being directed. I know what it's like when I'm in a writing zone. I know what it's like when God's grace is flowing and all of my thoughts are focused on a story and I can't think about anything else. So when it's the opposite and I can't focus on the story, that's God. And now I'm sitting here doing this vlog. I'm like, what does all this mean? I don't think God is done with fiction. I love writing fiction. And this past year and a half has been the first time I've been able to write full time because we were homeschoolers and our youngest just graduated. But I have to be willing to follow God's will, whatever it may be. That's what clinging is about. We stay seeking him, stay sensitive to his leading, following him closely enough that when he switches the path, we're right there with him. And we do a lot of waiting for clarity. So I'ma keep praying, keep trying to write. You never know when that zone might kick in. And right now, I'm about to open this Bible spend some time with the Lord, drink my coffee in this basement. Are you in a time of just wondering what God is doing, needing clarity, waiting on God? How are you clinging during this time? Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I upload the next video. Meanwhile, let's keep clinging.